The Alter Rebbe on Parshas Vayeshev explains the nature of dreams. He looks at the Pasuk from Tehillim, Shira Malois, Bashuv Hashem es Sivas Shivas Tzion Hayinu Kecholmim. When Hashem will bring us ultimately to Tzion, Mishiach Zaiten, then we will look back and view our exile period as if we were dreamers. What is the Alter Rebbe telling us here? So he tells us the difference between a dream and a normal awakened state is because in the normal state we operate through the mind, koyach haseichel, logic, inductive, deductive, cause and effect, etc. However, in a dream state, we can take two items and put them together in a way which is impossible in real life. And the example the Alter Rebbe gives is an ocean liner flying through the sky, a ship flying through the sky. Now, it's not as if the Alter Rebbe is anticipating flight and aeroplanes. We're talking about the early 1800s when the Alter Rebbe is speaking here may have, but he's pointing out at that time the insensibility of taking these two items and putting them together. And he says, rather than Koyach HaSeichel operating, there's a different capacity called Koyach HaDimyoin. Koyach HaDimyoin means, we usually call it imagination, but it means taking two items and juxtaposing them in a manner which otherwise would seem impossible. So he notes that when we are, for example, in shul, we're davening, we feel close to Hashem, and then we leave shul and we forget about the experience of closeness to Hashem. We start to be dependent on the needs of the body, food, clothing, shelter, we start to deal with pleasures of life. It's as if we haven't done it, and we get depressed by it. How could it be that I went to shul and then I forgot all about it? It seems like there were two complete disparate personalities, two different circumstances juxtaposed in the one day. And the idea being that it's only a dream state. It's not the reality. We have a high reality. But the Alter Rebbe takes the argument and turns it on its head. And he says that in fact, the dream state is probably the most spiritual facility that we possess. Because to be able to bring impossibilities and reconcile them is something beyond logic. Don't you and I dream of ourselves flying? Where does that come from? So the author Rebbe says, in a sleep dream state, the mind has gone to sleep. That's not where it's coming from. It's coming from somewhere deeper, more profound. He says it comes from the essence of the soul. And therefore, in dream state, we're actually experiencing spiritually, where there is reconciliation of opposites and that's quite amazing and therefore the Alter Rebbe is saying to us don't feel bad that you've forgotten you davened and now you're behaving like that reconcile it to Shura bring it together so let's do a little meditative exercise to be able to experience that gently close your eyes and take yourself back to a moment when you behaved in a way which you feel upset by. You didn't do justice to yourself. You may have said something that you regret. Go back and relive such a moment.
and here you are in your mind's imagination reconjuring up that episode that episode where opposites took place you and you have a good heart a good soul you don't want to hurt anybody and yet you lost yourself and did hurt somebody but there's a bridge between the two and that bridge is regret the act of teshuva so that they can coexist in a manner that is of higher spiritual value teshuva elevates the fault to the point that it is a schutz a plus therefore don't denigrate yourself that there are times that you forget about Hashem about your nefesh elokis but do to shuva reconcile the opposites and bring them together gently open your eyes coming all the way back having made that commitment